Hey guys, it's Lauren and today I'm going to be doing a tea review today and today's review is going to be on the Mayleaf Silk Oolong. Now I really like this tea, um, I do look like a mess today but it is chores day today so it is what it is. But this tea is I think one of Mayleaf's only synthetic teas and what I mean by that is um, it's synth synthetically flavoured, I guess. So it has like a milky kind of scent. Silk Oolong is always synthetically tasting, if that makes sense. Because I did have a look on their website to kind of see, get a better idea, a better idea of it. But it literally smells like milk to me. So I think the way that they do this is that they soak it in milk i think which sounds a bit odd but because it's synthetically flavored i'd guess that they don't and it's just scented with milk i don't really know but it's a synthetic blend if that makes sense um and then it's just oolong tea so you do have the leaves here i love the scent of this tea and then I think I put a bit too much in my um my little cup here. I put two spoons in, and as you can see, it's literally full to the brim. And it smells so good. It smells a little bit less subtle here. Like less like milk, more like um vanilla milk or something like that, but I really love that. You don't need that much at all because it will literally unfurl and it grows quite a lot. Like it was literally down here and then it's it's grown. Like I'd start off with a teaspoon. Depending on how big your infuser is, you need a big infuser for this. Um, definitely. Because or a teapot or something. Because it's literally <laughs> it grows a lot. You need room and I put too much in. But I brewed it about 90 to 100 degrees. I know you're meant to brew oolong teas for about 80 degrees. I don't have a temperature control kettle, so that's not gonna happen. But roughly 90 degrees um, today. And then it's like a yellowy brown kind of color. It smells really nice. Um, so oolong teas, if you don't know, are like a mix between green and black tea. Um, and the difference is how long it oxidises for. So green tea is partially oxidised and then black tea is like completely oxidised. So oolong tea is like a mix between those two, in between kind of stage. But let's try the tea. So I do really like this tea. Um, I will put prices on the screen because I don't have my laptop in front of me today. So I'll put a price on the screen for um, however many grams on the screen. I think it's about 30 or 50. don't remember, but it is an expensive blend. I remember that because um, oolong teas are usually quite expensive. Um, and this is silk oolong, so it's a special, it's a more special blend, I guess. But... It's really nice. To me it tastes um, kind of like musky. And like really creamy and milky if that makes sense. It's a very nice oolong tea, milk oolong or as it's called, silk oolong, but I really like it. I would say it's not my favorite milk oolong tea. Um, I think this is the only brand that sells it by itself, not blended with other things, you know, like peppermint, say. Um, Bird and Blend do a blend called um, Peppermint Cream Oolong, which is one of my favorites. 
that is literally a really good blend of silk oolong, milk oolong, I'm getting confused now, milk oolong and then peppermint and then chocolate, it's so beautiful, I've done a review of it, I'll link it somewhere if I remember, hopefully I remember, <laughs> but um, that was a beautiful blend. Um, this is just it by itself, if you want to experience teas, how they taste by themselves, you know, without, um, you know, flowers in there or fruit or whatever, it's a good brand to do that. Um, again, my only gripe with this company is the packaging. Um, this isn't the complete packaging, it does come in like a box, but it's open. It's an open box, it's not completely sealed either, so it's so weird. But for an expensive tea brand, I'd expect better packaging. That is my only like issue with Mayleaf, is that, I mean it's not sustainable packaging either, but the main issue for me is the fact that it's not even receivable which is kind of annoying to me personally because you know even just <laughs> in a box that you can actually close um, properly would be better than that or one of those resealable bags I don't know if those bags are actually like sustainable either but the ones that um, tea pigs and burn and blend do that you can reseal I don't know if those are sustainable but it's a good way of keeping tea fresh. This is it. But this tea is really good. And um, I'm sure I've said this before, but you can always rebrew mainly for teas. That's what they're really good for. You can rebrew them, enjoy them time and time again until literally the flavour runs out of the tea. Um, which is kind of similar to the Gong Fu kind of brewing style. And this is literally the closest thing I have to a guy one. So. <laughs> but it's a really creamy kind of tea. I really like this tea. I would buy this tea, this blend, again, even though it's an expensive-ish product. Um, and I know it's good quality as well, because mainly you do really good quality teas. So I would buy this again, even though it was expensive. <laughs> but I think that is it for this video. Um, I'm still working my way through the other teas to review for you guys. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I will see you guys in my next one.